caught since the 50s adding cancer viruses to vaccines. The UN's been caught sterilizing people. Whoever they are, evil whatever, demon-possessed people whatever, evil psychopaths with continuity of agenda in every country putting the same systems in, waging war against everybody, dumbing everybody down. And now, David, they've entered a phase of flaunting it. More and more they come out and make absurdist statements about George Soros is a humanitarian. He helped Nazis round people up. And if you don't uh, like it, you're a Nazi. Let, let me just expand briefly. You're staying with us 20 minutes the next hour so we can continue. They come out, Mambiot says, now that these reactors blew up, I think we need more. I now love r r r radiation. Uh, Ann Coulter says the people of Japan should be thankful for their radiation. Uh, it's good for you. It seems like they're trying to sell us on insanity and getting us ready for even crazier things to happen where they just giggle and snicker and run around and... And Al Qaeda is now our friend in Libya. And if you don't like Al Qaeda, you're un-American. They're just throwing it all in. Our yeah, the banks launder the drugs. And if we catch you with them, we're putting you in prison. There's just a complete flaunting as they're almost trying to sell delusion where everything's so confusing, people just go into a catatonic state. Well, that's the word, confusion. Um, the idea is to create um, so much upheaval in people's lives, so many shocks, so many things to fear and to keep pumping them out. And we're in that phase now, my goodness me, look at it. Uh, and we're going further into it before we, we turn this around. Uh, uh, so that people are so shocked, are so uh, in fear and so overwhelmed, um, almost a, a, a fear version of, of information overload, that they just switch off and enter a, a state of acquiescence, like uh, like a, a mouse in a, in a, a laboratory maze that uh, has so many shocks going down certain uh, uh, channels in the maze, it suddenly stops and its behavior is uh, rewired and you can take the shock equipment away. It ain't going to go down those channels again. You have rewired its um, perception, its behavior, and this is what it's about. It's about as many shocks as possible. And that's why we have to stay calm and we have to stay strong and not, not fall for this, not, not fall into this uh, shock-created uh, acquiescence. Because, you know, when people are in fear, they invariably, if they're not strong within themselves, they'll look for someone to protect them from what they've been manipulated to fear. And, and therefore, they'll give their power to that someone or that something um, as a, almost like a, an exchange for protection. Now, what we're looking at now is humanity as a whole being collectively hit by these multi-shocks and multi-reasons to fear. And the idea is to get a collective version of that, which is you, you give your power away to who you think can sort the mess out or protect you from you, what your fear. And it, it's, it's no accident that it's in this period where they're playing this collective mind game, this collective behavior acquiescence uh, uh, mind operation, that they're coming out with all these key areas. Like you said, George Soros is going to be pushing the global, uh, long plan global economic structure. And what we're seeing now in the Middle East is the world army being uh, more and more into the, into the fold. And the perfect pretext, I want to stop you, I want you to go back into Soros because he is announcing a global banking regulatory system run by the very bankers that have engineered the crisis now being our saviors. You also sent us a map you want us to put on screen for viewers, not just listeners, to talk about that world army. So let's go over Soros first, then into this world map you sent us. Okay, well, as, as, what... Um, uh, I've been talking about and others have been talking about for a long time, and it's even in their own documents, that the plan is to, I think we talked about this um, at some point uh, the last time, Alex, the plan is to um, make government um, irrelevant to sorting out economic uh, situations created by this cabal of, of, of bankers. Um, and therefore, the bankers, I mean, crikey, I mean, it's like... It's like deja vu, what we're seeing now, because what we've been pointing out was coming is now happening on the news. The idea was, I said in 2008, there's a three-point plan here. One is to crash the economy 2008, September, so people know there's a problem. Secondly, manipulating governments to uh, throw vast amounts of, of, of money, borrowed money, um, at the banks uh, to... Uh, make the governments reach a point where they can no longer 
uh, even ludicrously in throwing money at the banks, they can no longer react. And we're now in that point because now governments all over the world are introducing, my goodness me, in this country, uh, Britain, uh, austerity programs which are taking away the basic, basic benefits from the most vulnerable of people who have been made more vulnerable by uh, the, the economic crash caused by the banks. And so the, the governments are in that st stage two I was talking about now where they, they cannot react. And the idea of stage three is to create uh, um, another massive uh, economic crash. Governments have no response uh, uh, ability at all. So the bankers, people like Soros, who's a front man for the Rothschilds, uh, come forward and say, this is how we must sort it out. And he's, he's now openly making those uh, overtures, uh, as you mentioned earlier. So we're, we're seeing this reaching another level of playing out where the, the predictions, the sometime over the rainbow uh, is now in our face, and we're seeing it. And what's happening um, in uh, the uh, the Middle East, uh, Alex? I'll put the uh, the picture up on the screen. Uh, that that picture is uh, of countries that are, and there are more, that are targeted to be taken over by the NATO, European Union, uh, North American cabal. And when I say that, uh, it's not the British doing this or the Americans doing this. It's being done through those countries, using those countries, but actually the American government and the British government and the French government with all so cozy and stuff, they're just satellites of this global cabal. They're not representatives of the people of those countries. They were captured by the banking cartel many centuries ago, many of them. Yes, they were. They're and, engines. And they're vehicles. And, and the, the, the governments of the world, are or the vast majority of them anyway, and they want to make it all of them, are actually like transnational corporation subsidiary companies of the global, uh, um, you know, company. And they carry out the orders of the centrally dictated headquarters of this network. And that's why, as you yeah, pointed out earlier, we're seeing the same things being introduced in countries all over the world at the same time. This is how it's done. And if we look at that map, um, first of all, it's worth looking to the right, uh, where Somalia and Ethiopia and a place called Djibouti just across the sea from Yemen, that is the, uh, the African uh, base of uh, AFRICOM. Now, um, what the American military, and the American military too, is just a satellite military of the global cabal. They call it the American military, but it's, it's not. It's, it's, it has all that money spent on it, fantastic amounts of money. So it, it basically spends more money on the military, uh, America, than, 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 than the rest of well, the world. Well, notice the French have now invaded via NATO the Ivory yeah. Coast and are backing the rebels, slaughtering people. This is AFRICON moving into Africa. Exactly. But the reason so much fantastic amounts of money are, are spent on the American military is not for the benefit of the American people. It's because that is at the moment the main uh, uh, point of uh, military uh, imposition for the cabal. And, of course, Britain being one of the great centers of the cabal, not the British government, but the city of London, etc., it's always in the, in the slipstream of America when it goes uh, uh, into to a country. So you, from AFRICOM, it's, it was created during the Boyd Bush administration. And the question is, why has America got an African command? Well, it's, it's Africa. Well, the idea is to pick these countries off. And Zbigniew Brzezinski, in his uh, book Grand Chessboard in 1998, he said that the key area to control the world is what he calls Eurasia. And Eurasia is basically Europe across to China and then down into the, into the Middle East. And what we've seen, Alex, over the last many, many years is that process of picking off the uh, key areas of Eurasia, and now they're moving into Africa. What they want for, for a start is to take the whole of those North African countries over, Morocco, Algeria, Libya, Egypt, where, of course, they've had the, the, the trouble. They're, 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 there's now uh, protests in Jordan and Syria. That, that, they're the target countries, too. They've got Iraq. They're in there. And then, bingo, there's the big one to the right of Iraq, Iran. Then they're already in Afghanistan. They're totally 
uh, coldly destabilizing Pakistan, and then just off that map, you're hitting the Chinese border. And, and th these countries are being systematically targeted. And what they're doing in the Muslim world is playing off uh, the divisions, going back, goodness me, tell me it's not true, to the 7th century between the Shia Muslims and the Sunni Muslims. And the reason that Saudi Arabia and people like the United Arab Emirates are being uh, allowed to go into Bahrain and create a, and, and, and commit terrible atrocities to suppress the people's uh, rebellion in Bahrain and be allowed to do it with no reaction and no condemnation while everything's targeted on Libya is because um, Saudi, they want to play Saudi Arabia that is overwhelmingly a, a Sunni Muslim country and others around it. They want to use them uh, in, in their targeting of Iran, which is really the center of the Shiite Muslim world. It's dominated Iran by Shiite Muslims. And so once they, if they get Iran, this is the irony, if they get Iran by using Saudi Arabia and these others to support that, um, then Saudi Arabia will be the next one to go because there, there won't be any use to the, the cabal and the agenda anymore. And at the moment, we've got this extraordinary situation, really, where the United Arab Emirates has sent planes uh, to join the NATO uh, force to protect civilians, it says, in Libya, um, wh while at the same time they've sent their troops into Bahrain to stop uh, civilians with vi uh, protests with violence. I so want to stop you. It's incredible. I want to stop you just briefly and remind folks that the Obama deception that came out two years ago, Fall the Republic that came out a year ago, we predict with our experts in both these films that AFRICON would launch wars uh, all over Africa, starting in North Africa. Webster Tarpley predicted that with precision, off followings of Big Brzezinski and other people's statements. So you can show people these two DVDs and explain to them, look at the date of it. And that's what really gets people's attention is that we understand the globalist program. David, I, I watch CNN, Fox, you name it now. It is so dumbed down. But what's scary is you have Jay Rockefeller, all these other globalists saying they want to shut down the alternative media now. They are scared because we're not dumbed down. We're watching right. what they're actually doing, and they're beginning to panic. Yes, absolutely. But, you know, in, in, in Libya, what's happening there now, Alex, is a classic uh, a kind of accumulation of so many things that, that, that pull this together. First of all, Libya, uh, and I, I've got no brief for Colonel Gaddafi. I, I, I want all dictators to disappear. But if we're going to be streetwise, we have to see the shades of grey within the uh, black and white that is given to us on the television news. And they have a central bank which uh, issues the currency. And um, if, you, if you do business with Libya, you go through the central bank. Uh, that's the last thing this, this cabal of global bankers want. And it is no accident that, you know, these rebels who kind of appeared out of nowhere, and there'll be genuine people among them who, 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 who want to end that uh, uh, Gaddafi uh, oppression, but they're just walking into another oppression if they're not streetwise, which they're not. But within those rebels, there's no way that the, 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 the cover story is, uh, is adding up. When you've got people apparently being bombed from the sky and, 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 and there's a no-fly zone to help them and all that stuff, and yet at the same time, this uh, rebel group have managed to create a new Libyan central bank um, and uh, also uh, a new uh, Libyan oil company. They've already signed an oil deal with with Qatar, and uh, the European Union has said to, to Egypt, after this so-called revolution that wasn't, that, of course, if you make the necessary uh, economic reforms, then we'll give you loans, which will put you massively in debt to us, and that's the idea. So um, the idea is to uh, take over these countries, and any that are not totally uh, kind of sucked in and absorbed by the global uh, banking system, well, they will be. That's the idea. And, and th that's why Libya is being targeted and not the other countries. But they will be in the end. They want the law. Oh, oh absolutely. The of Africa. Absolutely. And expanding on that, this sets an incredible precedent where the UN puts out a resolution within 48 hours or less, a new war is launched. And the rebels were publicly backed, the core of them, by British intelligence, SAS, yep. US CIA. That's now all been admitted. And so what a precedent. The globalists financed some rebels. 
And now it sets the precedent where NATO, the U.N. and the U.S. come in and bomb them and then overtake the country. This is an incredible precedent and a big move forward towards global government. Yeah, when you, when you uh, start absorbing these things uh, like NATO and uh, the United Nations, you know, I said years and years ago that the, the, basically the United Nations peacekeeping operation, often the opposite, and the NATO operation were going to be absorbed into one eventually. Uh, uh, and we'd call it the, 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 the world army. There'd be other elements to it too, but certainly the absorption of that. And, and you've just described what's just happened. The UN um, have a decision and then the NATO are now carrying out that decision in effect. We're already into world. We're already into world government. It's it's implementing it through the nation state.